temperatures, though, they're elevating our risk for fire danger. Right. Denver 7's Daniel Kreuter up in Boulder for us tonight where fire weather warnings are in effect. Our Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson in the studio with his hot fall weather. Mike? I tell you, it is a scorcher out there today. We have the fire weather warnings continuing across northeastern Colorado and much of Wyoming, Nebraska, and up into South Dakota until 8 o'clock. There's no precipitation out there, and the temperatures today did reach the 90s in both Fort Morgan and Greeley, as well as Fort Collins and Akron, Lyman at 92, Burlington 92. We just missed 90 here in Denver today. We've had nine days this summer that hit 89 and 64 that got all the way to 90 or higher. Now tomorrow will be cooler as a cold front goes by, but it's not going to last very long. Once that front goes by, we get the cooler air coming in briefly. And then we get back into another warm, dry pattern coming up, and that is going to mean more fire danger as we head on into this coming weekend. Now to Denver 7's Daniel Kreuter, live out in Boulder with more on this fall heat. Danielle? Yeah, Mike, even now, right around 6 in the evening, it's pretty warm out here. The National Weather Service says that the normal temperature for this time of year, excuse me, the normal highs for this time of year, are around the 70s and right now I just checked we're still in the 80s temperature wise now whether you're looking at farms or fire safety these hot falls are really impacting a lot of people across the state tis the season for spooky decorations and pumpkin patches fall is here but mother nature hasn't exactly taken note I'm over air conditioning I'd like to open the windows Keep the fan on lightly and enjoy it. It's still going to feel summer here for another couple weeks. Tomatoes are producing like crazy and people are coming out and getting pumpkins. So we're like, OK, well, well, we'll get there. Michael Munson says these hot, dry, summer-like fall days are becoming more common. We're seeing this over the last decade or so. We are actually able to grow a lot more fall crops if we have the water. It's a little bit disheartening because uh, in normal conditions, a little bit early in the season, we have a pretty decent runoff from the mountains, the snow melt. We're now at that point, we no longer have that. Those dry conditions also contribute to fire risk. According to the most recent map released this week by the National Interagency Fire Center, the majority of Colorado is at moderate risk for wildfire. That's when our fuels tend to dry out. Paul Ostroy is the fire management officer for Mountain View Fire Rescue. He explains when it comes to wishing for rain or cooler temps, it's a delicate balance. Hopefully we've we've had moisture enough to have the fuels grow, um, but we don't want them to grow too much to where they become the issue. The dream fall forecast would be nice green lush grass with uh, trees that seem healthy, continuous humidities and moisture in the area. But with not a drop of rain in the forecast for the rest of the week. This year we're all on pins and needles because there is it's getting crispy in a lot of places. Fire experts hope communities do their part while we all wait for the temperatures to better match the season. We do live in an area where fire is frequent and so being aware of that If you've been watching Denver 7 this week, you know we've been talking a lot about fire mitigation. That's removing anything that could easily burn away from your home. Think of dried leaves or even the pine needles that have been falling. It's really easier to do while it's dry out. It's something free you can do this weekend, and it really helps in saving your home during the possibility of a wildfire and helps out the firefighters who may be working to save your home as well. Live in Boulder County, I'm Danielle Kreuter, Denver 7. Danielle, thank you. And the Denver 7 weather team dug into everything about October weather here in Colorado. It's a 30 minute special streaming on the Denver 7 Plus app. And as we're seeing, October can bring heat. It could also bring significant snowfall. Danielle Grant takes a deep dive into what you can expect all this month. We also have a conversation with Colorado Public Radio's Ryan Warner about just how hot it's been this summer. Do you just expect summers to keep breaking records? Well, we keep adding heat to the atmosphere because we keep adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. And we this year had six days of 100 or higher. And that's not the most we've ever had. We've had summers where we've had about 12, but uh, what we're seeing is an increase in those really hot days as well. And that is what you would expect in a warmer world. So 
If you can watch the full Denver 7 Plus weather presentation on our app. Also find it on Roku, Apple TV, or wherever else you stream.